Hello everybody, watch this video to find out what to do if you can't sign in to Windows because your PIN isn't available. You'll see how to bypass PIN request and reset your account in Windows. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. When your PC screen flashes an error, something happened and your PIN is not available. It can happen because of many things such as corrupted user profile, login service failure, etc. In today's video, we'll explore how to log in if such situation occurred and how to fix this error. For starters, let's explore why this error turns out. Uh, one of the most common sources of the problem is related to malfunctioning Windows login service. This service may be playing tricks due to various factors such as software conflicts, damaged system files or incorrect settings. Sometimes the problem can be connected with the damage to a user's profile. Incorrect security settings and some operating system updates may lead to conflicts or errors in using PIN. Besides, this error may occur because of system file errors, hard disk problems or hardware issues. So, let's begin by finding out how to log in when such error turns up. If you use a password along with a PIN to log in, you can use such password if the error something happened and your PIN isn't available suddenly occurs. To do that, click on the Sign in options in the lock screen and choose the option to use the password. When you log in, reset the PIN to eliminate the problem. To reset a PIN, do the following. Open Settings. Accounts. In the Sign in Options tab, choose PIN Windows Hello for Windows 10 or PIN Windows Hello for Windows 11. Remove the existing PIN from your computer by entering the password to verify your account. When the old PIN is gone, click Setup, enter your password and add a new PIN. These steps will help you restore access to your system and eliminate the PIN availability issue. If you have a Microsoft account, you can request a confirmation code to log in to the operating system, if such problem turns up. To sign in, request a code to be sent by SMS or email. When you receive the confirmation code, you should enter it in the sign-in screen instead of the PIN. This method allows you to sign in by way of bypassing the PIN issue. For this strategy to work out, your computer needs to be connected to the Internet, otherwise it will be impossible to sign in with your Microsoft account. If you manage to sign in, check CNG Key Isolation Service. To check this service, right-click on the Start menu and select Run. Type Services MSC and press Enter. As a result, the Services windows will open. Search the list for CNG Key Isolation and double-click on it to open. Check its startup type. It should be enabled. Change the startup type to manual and run it, then restart your PC. Also, you can fix the PIN issue by removing the contents of PIN settings directory. Windows keeps all information related to PIN settings in a special folder with the name NGC. When this folder is damaged, sign-in with PIN may be unavailable. To fix the problem, delete all of its contents. In the Explorer, open View – Show – Hidden Items. Follow this path. Select all contents by pressing Ctrl A and then press Delete. As a result, the PIN will be removed. When you sign in next time, the operating system will no longer ask you to type your PIN. If there is no option to sign in with a password instead of PIN, you can remove the NGC folder or run the service with the help of the command prompt from the System Recovery menu.
hold down the Shift key and restart the computer. In the Recovery menu, select Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Command Prompt. For starters, try to activate the key isolation service. Run the regedit command to open the registry. Here, choose HK Local Machine Key and then go to the menu File, Load Hive and give the path to the file system. Follow this path. The system drive letter may differ, but you can find the right one by the size. Select the file system and click Open. Set a name for it, and then a sub key with the assigned name will appear under HKEY LOCAL MACHINE. In this sub key, go to this one. Check the registry value for start. The value should be 3. If it differs, change it. Go back to the subkey you have created. And then click File, Unload Hive. Restart the computer. After all these actions, the pin should be available again. If it doesn't help, remove the NGC folder. Boot your system in the recovery mode. Choose Troubleshoot. Command Prompt. To remove the NGC folder, run these commands one after another. Restart the computer. As a result, the PIN will be removed and you'll be able to sign in with your password. One more method to fix the PIN problem is to remove the latest system update. Put your PC in the recovery mode, then go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Uninstall Updates, Uninstall the latest quality update. This method can help you if the error was caused by the latest update. Also, you can try to load the latest restore point. To do it, go to the recovery mode, open Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, System Restore. Here, choose and load the latest restore point where everything worked fine. Be attentive, when going back to a restore point you may lose some files and latest changes in them. But if you have lost important files or have difficulty to access your system drive, you can bring back your files with a specialized data recovery tool – Hetman Partition Recovery. Connect the drive to another PC and scan it, find the necessary files and recover them. Finally, the last sign-in fix is to reset your account password. If you forgot the password and you can't sign in with a PIN, Try resetting the password. For this method, you will need a bootable drive with Linux. Download a Linux distribution from the official website.
and create a bootable drive with the help of Rufus, Etcher or another similar utility. Connect the USB drive to the computer and then boot your PC from the USB drive. When booting, choose the option Try Linux. In my case, it's Ubuntu. When the operating system boots, open the menu Show Applications and run Software Updater. In the window that opens, go to the tab Ubuntu Software. Check the box for Community Maintained Free and Open Source Software. After that, click Close and Reload. Then you can minimize this window. Now right-click on the desktop and run the terminal. In the terminal window, run the command to install the package to read and modify Windows Password Database SIM. Then go to the Explorer and open the disk where your Windows is installed. You can identify it by size. Follow this path. In this directory, you should see a file with the name SAM, which has to be edited with the previously installed app CHNTPW. SAM is the Security Accounts Manager in the Windows operating system which handles the accounts database. You can use it to reset the password to a specific user account and sign in without using the password. For status, right-click on some empty space and choose Open in Terminal. After that, this folder will be opened in Terminal. To view Windows accounts in SAM, use the following command. This section will list all Windows accounts. To reset the password for a specific user, enter this command. Give the name of the account for which the password should be reset. Press Enter. Select the first item from the list. Clear blank user password. To do it, type 1 and press Enter. As a result, you'll get the message Password cleared. Type Q to exit. After that, restart the computer, remove the USB drive and boot to Windows. As a result, the account password will be reset. After booting, the operating system will not ask you to type a password or PIN and you will sign in automatically. As you can see, signing into Windows can become complicated due to various errors. However, now you know a few methods to fix that problem. They will help you restore access to your account and continue working with the operating system without any hindrance. That is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck!